finally in a place called Toyland. I hold it dear to my heart. And maybe one day I'll take you there myself. And you will see how wonderful this place is to see. Oh, I believe in a place called Toyland. And maybe one of day I'll take you there myself. So take my hand and hold it tight. And I'll take you there by myself. I believe in a place called Toyland. I hold it dear to my heart. And maybe one day I'll take you there myself. And you will see how wonderful this place is to be. Oh, I believe in a place called Toyland. And maybe one of these days I'll take you there myself. So take my hand. Black time in law in Toyland. Just in case you missed it. Pierre and Michael and started calling. The gang decided to go for a walk along the college grounds. They basically found themselves into Toyland again. And basically they found the lion family was kidnapped. So they did not know what to do, but they decided they would help them. Basically the gang got into the buggy and they decided to look for who kidnapped the lion family. They basically found who kidnapped the lion family, but the monster would not let the lion family free. So basically what the gang said is that they would kill the monster, and then they would be free. The lion family was free from the monster because the monster was dead, but when lion tried to allow them to go back home to their world, they couldn't. So basically they're stuck here in the toilet. Now the second one to lock in toilet. Michael was in his room thinking, where did he go wrong in life? I'm stuck living here in Toyland. I don't know what to do. I don't know, he thought. Pierre comes into Michael's room and said, Michael, you might have come in. Pierre said, no, I don't mind you coming in. Pierre said, uh, there is a painting downstairs that has just arrived. The lion family wants you to look at it. Michael said, okay, I'll look at it. Lemon Lion said, look at the painting, guys. Pierre said, all I see is green. Lemon Lion said, look again. You can see a picture. Pierre said, all I see is green. Wait, I do see something. Michael said, I see something too, but it looks kind of green. Doesn't it? Lemon Lion said, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? And then suddenly, they felt weird. Michael said, I'm going back to my room. I don't feel very well. Pierre said, I don't feel very well either. I'm going to my room. And Lemon Lion said, I don't, I guess I'm going to go to my room. I don't feel very well either. This painting is weird. Michael did not feel very well, so he got into his bed and lied down for a bit till he felt better. And then he fell asleep because he was really tired, but he did not know why he was tired. Michael wake up and real and look her back and Eddie's face like a painting. Suddenly, if he he will have he helped slide, but he felt her her dream. But then he starts to think, okay, I'm gonna go and start with flowing this play. Soon as Michael moved a bit, the drawing of the background in this world got better. He thought this is really weird and really creepy. I don't know where I am. I think I'm in the painting. That's the only place I would be. I don't know, he thought. Michael did not feel very right. Was he waking up from this dream? He did not know. 
Michael looked around and all he see is nothing. All he see is white. Where am I? Am I on the Ecuador line? I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know, Michael thought. Michael said, what kind of creature are you? You look like you're made out of sex. The sick person said, I am made of sex. But the only way you can break the spell is by waking up. Michael said, why are you talking about? Michael wake up from that dream he had, and he hears someone coming up the stair and starts banging on the door and come in. Sarah come into Michael's room and said to Michael, I know you weren't feeling very good earlier today, but it's dinner time. Don't you want dinner time? Don't you be getting up or looking for dinner time? Michael said, yeah, I'll get out. I'm feeling better now. I just had a weird dream. Sarah said, you can tell me about it when we walk downstairs to the dining room. Michael said, okay. They basically had dinner, but after dinner, it was dark out, but they had a little bit of party. But Michael went outside to look at the nice guy, and someone came out with him. See, so you said to Michael, what are you doing out here? They're having a party. Don't you want to have fun at the party? Michael said, I do, but I still think about that dream. See, though, you said, that dream. You mean that dream about that painting? That wasn't real. That was just a dream. Michael said, I'm thinking about it. And it kind of reminds me of a song. See, though, you said, well, why don't you sing a song? Maybe you'll feel, feel better. Michael said, okay. If I could paint a rainbow, I paint it very well. It's in the sign we call the line, the moon is only full. It's only full and round, a full air can be. And in the sign of the line, the moon is only full. Oh, if I could paint a rainbow, I paint it very well. And in the sign we call the line, the moon is only full. See, though you said that that song helped you feel better, Michael. Michael said, yeah, it did, but I want to look at that pain again. There's something weird about it. See, though you said, if that's what you want, Michael, you can, but I'll go with you. Michael said, okay. See, you always said to Michael, Michael, I don't get it. To me, it just looks like a green picture. Michael said, look very carefully at it. You can see something. See, you always said, yeah, I do see something, but I don't get it. Michael said, I don't get it either, but when you look at it, you feel sick, don't you? See, you said, I don't feel sick. I feel normal. Michael said, maybe a boy could get it. See, so, you said, that is weird, Michael. That is weird. It was 12 o'clock when the party ended and the guests went home and the people who lived in the castle went to bed and Michael had that dream again. Michael said, if you again, the sick person, the sick person, can you help me free me from this spell? Michael said, I think I figured it out. You're like this because of painting, so if you look at the painting, uh -huh. And because we're both boys, we both feel something. So what I have to do is just stare at you, and the spell will be lifted. Because it's like looking at the painting. The fifth person, you could try it. So Michael said he would try it. When Michael stared at the stick person, the stick person turned the person. And the person said, my name is DJ. Thank you for breaking the spell. But did you know, because you broke the spell, that the painting is probably going to disappear? Michael said, what do I do? Just wait, and you'll be out of the painting. The DJ said, yeah, just wait, and you'll be out of the painting. Michael said, okay. Michael was out of the painting, and the spell was broken, but then he noticed the painting was starting to disappear, so he couldn't figure it out. It's probably because the spell has been broken. Michael looked at it, 
and the painting was gone. And he knew that that was broken and this was definitely not a dream. But the problem is people wouldn't believe him. So, well, he said if people don't believe him, it's their own problem. Because I know what I believe, he thought. It was the next day, and the Lion family could not figure out what happened with the painting, but Michael knew, and so did the rest of the gang knew too, because they believed Michael. Sarah said to Michael, We believe you about the painting being evil. We believe you about that dick person having a curse on it, what you broke it. And we believe you that the painting disappeared. Do you know why, Michael, we believe you? Because anything is possible in Torlight, and that's the way it is, and that is why we believe you. Michael said, thank you, even if the lion finally doesn't believe me. Sarah said, I understand, and that's why we believe you. I believe in a place called Torlight. I hold it dear to my heart. And maybe one day I'll take you there myself. And you will see how wonderful this place is to be. Oh, I believe in a place called Torlan. And maybe one day I'll take you there myself. So take my hand and hold it tight. And I'll take you there by myself.